Good morning. Um, just going to um, show you a couple of new dolls that I've been making. Um, Sarah Sanderson and Mary Sanderson have already done a video about um, Winifred Sanderson, which was the first one I made. So these two complete the three sisters. Um, so this one, I'll do Sarah first. And then I'll do a separate video about Mary. Okay, so this is Sarah. Um, before I start, could I maybe say a big hello to my grandchildren? Okay, so Matthew has been, has found me on YouTube. So Matthew and Charlie um, watch my YouTube. So hello, Matthew and Charlie. I hope you're keeping well today and I hope you're you're being good. And, um, and then I have another two grandchildren who aren't impressed that I'm on YouTube and that's Annika and Mikey. Okay, so hello to my grandchildren. Um, I told them I'd give them a shout out the next video I did. Okay, so here we go. This one is Sarah Sanderson and she's the one that Jessica, um, Jessica Parker, um, you know, from Sex and the City fame, um, she's the, the blonde witch. Okay, so I originally made this doll um, without the cape. Okay, and she looked well without the cape. There's a lot of knitting in the cape. So anyway, so there she is with her cape on. And I had to make the hood quite large. <clears throat> so, you know, so that it would um, take in the um, take in the hair. Okay, because she has quite a, a lot of blonde hair. So there she is. There's her with her cape on. And in the film, she carries a... Um, not a broomstick, but a mop. So I tried to make it more mop-like than um, than the broomstick. Okay, so there she is. Now I'll take her cape off, and then I'll, I'll I'll describe how I did the cape actually, because this is the same for Mary. Okay, so um, when I was making the cape, okay, I don't know if you can see that. I tried to do it in pictures on the patterns, but sometimes it doesn't always work. So I knit the hood. All right, I knit the hood, and so imagine that's not attached. I knit the hood, and then I stitched it round the hole from there until about an inch, um, an inch from the base, and then I was able to put that out flat, straight like that. So that's the base of the hood, okay? Um, I knit the cape, so the cape's knit, and... Um, and then I needed something to sort of give her, I tried just putting the hood straight onto the cape and it didn't really work. So I knit like an extension piece. Okay, so I knit like a little triangle um, and I stitched it first onto the, the hood. All right, so it's stitched onto the hood. I sort of folded it in half, found the centre and I lined it up with the centre seam. So that's the first thing. And then once I got that done, I put it, if you look on the cape in the inside, it's about an inch down the cape. So you can imagine the, the top of the cape's about up there. So an inch down, I put my point and then I was able to sew on my, and I haven't it totally sewn up. Um, just to let you see, but I was able to sew on then um, my two edges and then I will actually probably, um, I'll, it's not needed, I can live without it, but you, I, I might just stitch this down into the cape, but I might not, I think it's fine. And then I'm going to, and this hasn't been done yet, I'm going to use a running stitch with my twisted cord and I'm going to run it through so that when I put the cape on, I'll be able to tie it. So that's the cape. But I think she's actually quite a nice doll um, without the cape. Okay, so there she is without the cape. Okay, it's sunny today, so hard to see. Anyway, so there she is without the cape. So let's start at the bottom. Um, she has her boots on. And I put some laces into her boots, okay? And then she has pink legs and I started with the body colour and I came up. The next, I came up to the, the top, all right? And I continued knitting the doll, okay? The next part then is the skirt. So the skirt is made like of a dark red and um, pulled on, pulled in at the waist. Um, because she has a bit of shape, this doll, you know, they've, they've all got a wee bit of a shape. They've got hips and a waist, okay? So um, then on top of that, then there is like the overskirt, 
Okay, so the overskirt goes on the top of that. Okay, so it's quite a lot of knitting here, you know. Now in the body, um, Sarah has a in the film she has like a one of these flat corsets, um, tight, you know, um, it's nearly like a board type thing. So I tried to represent that um, by making a triangle, and I stuffed it a little, but. Possibly you could get away with really not stuffing it at all, putting a bit of card in there and making it more board like. Okay, so, um, and I put that, stitched that on, and then I added just a little bow. And then her hair. So Sarah has blonde long hair. So I knit the hair cap first, whether you can see it. Um, I knit the hair cap. Possibly I've overdone it with the hair. She could have maybe been better with a wee bit less hair. Um, I made um, not curls because she hasn't got curly hair, but she has more um, like loose curls, like wavy hair. So I used the biggest, um, um, the biggest wooden sticks I had, which were chopsticks, okay, to cook the curls. So I cooked the curls on the biggest sticks. I didn't make any tight curls, okay. Um, when I put the um, the cap on, I stitched the side seam first, okay, and then I worked uh, the way I do all my hair. If you look at some of my videos I've got videos on stitching in the hair so I stitched down from the um, left side and then I worked my way round to the right side and then when I was coming here um, I wanted it to be like a side seam and swept over so that's the hair and she's got her mop with her and she's actually a nice doll without the cape there was a lot of knitting in the cape um, so, you know, I think you could do without the cape if you were wanting to hurry it on a wee bit because um, I actually made this without the cape originally and then the guy who I made it for um, sent me a message and said, you know, would you put a cape on her? Um, but anyway, so that's that's the um, Sarah with the cape. And with Sarah, I thought I would add in Binks, which is the, the black cat. And apparently he doesn't belong to any of them and um, he gets killed in the film. But anyway, um, so with the black cat, okay, um, I just made a black cat. Now I wanted it to be a little bit different from other black cats. So uh, whether you can see, I have a pipe cleaner in the tail and I formed it into the shape of a heart. Um, well, I stitched the um, the... Uh, you know the, the knitted part over at first and then I formed it into the shape of a heart and I sewed down the end so that it's got like a heart um, the, with the um, whiskers I was trying to work out a way to do whiskers um, so I used black straws and I just sort of um, fringed them so that's all and then stitched on um, and I gave her a mouth or him a mouth um, I just stitched a wee red for a tongue. Now, I might stick a little black bead or something on his nose and I might um, do something more with the eyes, put a bit of, you know, with a glue pen or glue gun, put in some beads, but I'll see. Um, it's only me being fussy, but anyway. Okay. So there she is. There's um, Sarah Saunderson with her cat all ready for Halloween. Okay. Bye.